Uh, ju just, you know, that, that would still give us a chance. You know, we knew uh, that South Carolina has a good offense, and, and we knew they had a long way to go. But uh, I was just thinking to myself, no big plays, no big quick score, no touchdowns. and Because uh, even in the field goal, we were still in overtime. We still have a chance to win. And uh, the defense definitely uh, played their butt off the second half, and uh, um, finally we got a break. And I'm glad it happened uh, on the defensive side of the ball, and they got uh, credit for us stopping. Somebody asked Coach if you had played your best game. He had thought he, you played your best game. He said he had to go back and look at the videotape. Do you feel like you played your best game out here? Um, it would seem that way, obviously, to statistically and, uh, you know, with the big win over a ranked opponent. Um, and you can't say – it's hard to say you haven't. Uh, I think I played really well today. Uh, I think everybody around the offense played great. I mean, uh, Coach Shanners really emphasizes everybody going out there, giving extraordinary effort, but, but doing their part and, and controlling what you can control. And uh, um, when my job is to get the guys uh, who are open the ball, that's what I try to do. And, uh, sometimes it's harder than others, but in that regard, I felt I did pretty good today, and the guys did a great job catching the ball. After you took a knee and you embraced Randall Cobb, you guys were hugging. What kind of emotion, what were you guys saying to each other? What was it like to beat that right Oh, man, we, we told each other that we love each other, and we really do. I mean, it's just an incredible feeling to have uh, us do, just do that together. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a heck of a competitor. I look up to him when it comes to competing and, and playing hard over everything he does in a game. I mean, you, you can't imagine being in his shoes. It's incredible. And, and to have a guy that does that, you know, we're very blessed to have that. And, um, I really wish we could see here finally. You know, finally we got one, finally went our way, and uh, hopefully this can continue. To throw his 33rd touchdown, the record, to, to win the game, essentially. I mean, does it make it more meaningful? I actually forgot about that. I forgot it was the record, but uh, I, once you say it now, yeah, it actually does. Uh, I'm so happy for him. I mean, every touchdown that he gets, he deserves. Uh, he, he plays his butt off, and he, uh, you know, he obviously can't ask more of that guy. Big picture, where does this put you at in the SEC, you think, in the East? I think it puts us back in the race. I mean, um, the East is going to be a, a, a tough a tough uh, side of the conference. I mean, the West is obviously pretty tough as well. But, uh, you know, as much as teams are winning big games and then coming up short the next game or whatever's going on, we just got to keep fighting. we got to keep playing our game and keep controlling what we play every week and um, just keep playing our butt off. Mike, forgive me if you've answered this already, but what does this do for your confidence? I, I think my confidence is already there. I mean, it, it really – uh, it really helps uh, me to think that you know, we can still battle, we can still make big time throws, we can still make big time catches. And uh, um, as long as we keep focusing on what's going on, still stay humble, keep working hard. I mean, uh, hopefully wins like these can happen. For some first quarterback to beat Louisville three times. First quarterback to beat Steve Spurrier. Is this after everything you've been through, maybe vindication for you, or is it that not something? Uh, it, it's all up to what you know. What everybody wants to consider. You know, obviously, I'm going to take it as a very good accomplishment, really great accomplishment in my career. And uh, I'm, I'm going to go with that. I know my players are proud of me, and I'm proud of them. Coaches are proud of me as well. So, um, you know, those are the guys I really look to, and those are the guys I really care about. And um, uh, th that's what really makes me go out there and play hard and, and, and not give up on teammates every game. Mike, all week you guys kind of downplayed. You guys never beat Spurrier. You lost to South Carolina 10 straight years. But at the end of the day, now that you guys got the win, did it, did it doesn't matter a little bit? Getting all, getting all those things, beating Spurrier, beating, finally beating South Carolina. Um, it's, it's nice, it's nice to feel that way. It's nice to, you know, say you finally did this, or you finally did that, or you finally beat South Carolina after so many years, or whatever. Um, but at the same time, you, you got to look at as the season. Where are we at now in the East? Uh, what position does it put us in the next couple of weeks? How can we finish out? And um, in that regard, obviously, it's great. But uh, yeah, you look back at, the, at those things and you really are proud of yourself that you accomplished those things. Talk about taking that final move. Uh, I was just. Just overwhelming. I just hope I didn't fumble the ball, and uh, something might happen. So I made sure everything was good there, and um, you know, just turned put my hands in the air and gave hands right on my glove. So I probably already I didn't. I didn't know. I had no idea. I, I knew where he was going to be uh, in the throw. So. Uh, and I knew that Chris's route underneath him wasn't going to be enough for uh, a first down. So um, it's one of those things where you have to cancel out the little man and almost go for the big play uh, because it's fourth down and we have nothing else to do. The game's on the line. And um, I knew I knew for a split second that guys were jumping Chris's route underneath, so I knew Randall would have a chance. But at the same time, where the ball was going to be, who was going to be on him, if their defender was on him, I didn't know. So hopefully I'm put a little more air on it. Put a little more air on it, put a little uh, more juice on it because I was off my back foot and getting hit. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad where it ended. Mike, do you think this was your best game? 
here? Um, I think statistically, probably, uh, just because it's a big, a big game of a ranked opponent, uh, you know, people can consider it that. But uh, you know, we've got five more, and um, or however much, five more, I think, four more, and um, you know, hopefully that can be one of my best games too. It's been a lot of huge wins.